Hello friends, this is Reckless Tempest, Value Grinder Extraordinaire. Today I'm going to go over if the event pass for the KDA All Out event is worth it for you. Before we begin, please click the subscribe button down below to get notified when I craft new VODs on Runeterra or MTG News, Finance, and Gameplay. Alright, let's start with a brief overview of what the KDA event pass is and the event overall. It started on October 28th and it's going to go until November 24th. There is a series of free rewards and premium rewards. And in order to get the premium rewards, you need to pay 975 coins and achieve 28 levels using their different quest system that they have in place. Also, they did note in this article that at some point down the line, they will be reintroducing these cosmetics, but they don't have any current plans to do it. So they're really inciting that uh, fear of missing out to get you in. Now I'm going to go over what you get in the premium event pass. You get four guardians, five emotes, six card backs, one expedition token, one epic wild card, one champion wild card, and 2000 shards. Now, in my opinion, there are three ways to look at if this event pass is worth it for you. The first one is where you uh, value everything fully like as, as if you'd have to buy it in the store, you just want to collect everything, is normally the kind of uh, user that would want this. Second is just, you play the game, you just want cards, go from there, right? Like, you don't care about cosmetics. And lastly, the third is, say, there's someone that really likes the art style, and, but they only really want, like, one of each, right? They're okay cherry-picking, they're not really a big collectionist, so we're going to value... One of each cosmetic, two emotes, and all the cards and stuff. Looking at the event pass uh, in a way where we value it fully, uh, as if we'd have to buy everything in the store, in total it comes up to 7,070 coins in value. So if you're a big collector, or if you like swapping through your cosmetics, etc., this is a pretty good deal. Pretty easy peasy. With the second approach, if you're just playing the game, you just care about in-game rewards, you just want to build decks and play, you don't care about cosmetics, you get about 820 coins in value. So obviously that's less than 975, so it's not really worth it. But if there's at least just one cosmetic you like, it'll push you to about break even or a little above, and, it, and anything from there is uh, value. So keep that in mind. Most people don't strictly hate cosmetics. They usually do like a little bit, even if they don't go as crazy for them as others. And lastly, the third approach, kind of the more well-balanced, reasonable one. You cherry pick some, some of the cosmetics you like, one of each usually, because let's say you like the style and you care about the cards. And we're going to say you like two of the emotes. If that's the case, this would come up to 2,280 coins in value from this bundle. And in that case, it's a pretty good deal compared to the 975 you're going to be paying. I think it's a good pickup there, especially if you're just starting out and you don't have any other cosmetics. Maybe you haven't gone to region up to level 25, you haven't uh, bought a guardian or stuff like that. So that's everything. Uh, if I miss something or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Lastly, check out my Twitch stream where I play Rune Terror ladder gameplay. See you next time.